how wild this story is, these two guys conning the Pentagon. It's the craziest story ever. If it wasn't true, you wouldn't believe it at all, you know? That was the main reason I wanted to do the movie. It's just insane. These two kids, you know, these punk kids from Miami figure out how to make almost 300 million, over $300 million, you know, becoming arms dealers. I've never heard of anything like that in my life. And did you have fun uh, creating the look, the tan, the jewelry, the hair, all that stuff? Yeah, it was all, it was all insane playing this guy, you know? like. Uh, the fake tan was probably the weirdest part. The clothes, the jewelry, everything, it was all insane. Yeah, it's crazy. You would think that, you know, anytime the government's the one running the checks and balances, you would think that things would operate on a certain level. And, and I mean, these guys, yeah, absolutely. They pulled one on, on the Pentagon. They uh, faked it till they made it, or fake it till you make it, and they did that 100%, and they ended up working their way up to a $300 million deal, which is just insane to me. Like, I, I barely knew what to do with. 40 bucks a week when I was, you know, that age. You know, I mean, it really is about these two guys who are sort of stoners in their 20s who get involved as arms dealers with the U.S. government and, you know, George W.'s uh, administration. It's incredible. And working uh, with this cast and with Todd Phillips. You know, Joan and I, you, yeah, Todd, obviously, it's our first project that we're producing together, so that's, you know, it's, we're very proud of that aspect. And then the fact that uh, I got to work with Joan, who's been a friend of mine for years, and I've always been a huge fan, so to actually be there with him. And Miles, you know, ever since, even before Whiplash and Rabbit Hole, I was a big fan of his. So to be with both of those guys was fun, and it was a great character. I got to jump in and play in the movie.